happy friday everyone it is your girl tanika dion all righty last friday i did not do a um video so you know i'm back in full effect today on friday all right and today um i'm going to be doing or um trying out the tart shape tape hydrating foundation this is the packaging i should have already took this out the box i don't know why i did not but yeah i'm going to be trying this i had a couple packages come in i just didn't do no haul on them i had you know i got some stuff from morphe and tart and uh, makeup erase um yeah this is what it this is not the regular one this is the hydrating one for people like me with severely dry skin well i won't say severely um because it's just for dry skin i just say severe because i feel like i got uh severely dry skin but anywho yeah and it's tart double duty beauty so this has the water drop to let you know that it's supposed to be waterproof sweat resistant type of thing um like you know normally i use my um mac all summer long the waterproof mac foundation i do have a video on uh this as well as a wear test well which i will go ahead and link um above and then on top of this i'm going to be using my favorite favorite summer um powder which is the super goop right here and this is the same sweat resistant uh waterproof spf 45 and it is a setting powder and here we go so let's see the color oh yeah the color i got in the um um shape tape hydrating foundation is tan deep sand is the color that i chose i did this online so hopefully it is a good match and i'm not going to color correct and yeah so let's go ahead and do this and also i'm going to be using the real technique uh makeup sponge this is my first time using this sponge i just got it and i was so anxious to use it so because you know i know a lot of people swear and love the real technique sponge so this is the one i picked up from walmart it was like four dollars or something um yeah so yeah four or five i don't know what it was but anyway that's what i had so let's go ahead and get started i'm just going to pick up my mirror here and go right ahead and see what we can do this is just me pulling it out just the one time i just want to see how much i can get you know can you guys see me i don't want to be too close to you so about five there started to fade out a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and dip back in here again I'm going to close it and then bring it back out. Just put another one here. And I'm going to go here, 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 and here. And let's go right in with the Real Technique sponge. I guess I will do the flat side. And pounce on it. You got the pounce on it. This is definitely not full coverage, which, you know, I didn't expect it to be anyway, um, because it's a, you know, waterproof or sweat resistant. I keep saying waterproof because that's, you know, a lot of the claims, but sweat resistant. Um, and, you know, that's not going to have a lot of pigment in it like that because, you know, it's just supposed to keep you looking good in the summer. But, you know, it still should have some coverage which it does have coverage more of a skin like finish you know but you know i can build it up but like i always say i don't mind my imperfections to show through i really don't um that's not my issue my issue with my skin is just uh to even it up just to even up my skin tone and so i like a full coverage foundation but in the summertime as you know that mac foundation that i wear in the summer is not full coverage either because you know like i said it's not a lot of pigment in it because it is water resistant so you can't do too much and have the spf in there so you know yeah but i would definitely definitely um go in with another layer because i have to ouch I just like a lot because 
I just do. I just love foundation. It's my favorite part of uh, makeup. Most people is eye, but not me. My favorite part is definitely not eye. I can wear nothing on my eyes. Put a, a um, liner on and some lashes and I'm good. I wear eyeshadow stuff for you guys. I mean, I like eyeshadow. Don't get me wrong. That's why I always say I could, you know, I can go without the latest of latest palettes. But I do want the foundation. So, anywho, let's go back in and do this again. And I don't put the foundation under my eyes until I'm almost done. I like to save that for the concealer, you know. I know I picked a hell of a time to try a new foundation because as I know you already see my eyes are halfway done because I also uh, did a video because it is um, the 4th of July so I'm trying to do my 4th of July look as well as my first in person Friday at the same time so I can have both videos good and ready so I can edit them after my barbecue is over well the um the eyeshadow one will be up before that because I'm gonna have that up and edited that's why I tried to do as less talking as possible well not talking but um I don't do as less editing as I have to on the foundation one but by the time you see this video the 4th of July video will be up and I will link it just in case you did not see it. And it is on this 4th of July look. Which of course is completed in the video. But right now it's not completed. Alright. So. As far as first impressions go. Uh, I like this foundation. It, I like it. I can't. I mean. It's looking as uh, good as the uh, MAC one. And you know, MAC breaks me out. But I, I wear that MAC foundation in the summer. Because it's the only one that truly can uh, withstand the uh, heat. In my opinion. I mean, that I've tried. I don't know about any others. Um, but I've been using that, like I said, for like three years. So I really know the staying power and holding powder of that MAC uh, waterproof foundation. So that's why I tend to wear I don't mind that it breaks me out I really don't because it's generally under here which I can take care of um you know so I, I tend to deal with that it's 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 not a deal breaker um but that's why I don't buy a lot of MAC products anyway um because of the I don't know it just seems to break me out well found, I'll say foundation not all their products just their foundations but anywho yeah see so it's not a lot a lot of covered but it's still um even though my skin tone and so yeah as i was saying as far as first impressions go i really like it i think it's blending out very very nicely and it's doing the job that it's supposed to do someone that has you know better skin and no flaws and things like that and no blemishes and things um this would look super fantastic on um but you know with me i think it looks super fantastic on me too but you know yeah, I prefer more full coverage, but again, in the summertime, you don't want all that heavy feeling. So, and this feels super, super light. This feels so good, and I really like this. Is really, really, really skin-like finish. This stuff looks like skin. It actually looks like my skin, just a whole lot more evened out. So, yeah, and I like it. I really do. I think it looks pretty dang good. And um, yeah. So yeah, looks good to me. And um, as far as the sponge, I really like the way this is blending out as well. This is nice. It 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 it. Uh, this is nice. I like it. I mean, I like the Juno sponge too. Now that's that's my baby. I, you know, finally got a hold of not a hold of it, but how to make that thing work in my uh, uh, favor. And I love that Juno sponge. But this is nice. I like it, you guys. So yeah, so far this is looking good for me. I am really, really liking it. Like the sponge, everything looks good. Okay, so light, feels so, so light, y'all. Okay, and yeah. Now they do have a a regular one for people with oily skin too. So they have 
like now they have like three or four different type of shape tapes um, on there so you know I'm pretty sure they have one for everybody's uh, skin type so yeah now okay now with that I'm actually going to go ahead and use some of this where is my this um Morphe no not the Morphe one the cake face concealer by Beauty Bakery I'm gonna go ahead and take this that is upside oh no it's not uh, by beauty bakery i'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer because it's a little closer to my skin tone than a lot of the other ones so i'm just gonna take this um and just put a little over these little spots here like this some of these you know i know you can't cover molds like that but i like to do it um Especially now that I don't color correct like that so like I used to which is nothing wrong with color, color correcting I just got to find a you know color that works for me I think I might even try that Nikita dragon one because you know she swears I know she's gonna swear by it because it's her brand but um, I don't know that orange in there it seems like it is a nice type of orange because the oranges I've been using are like the cheap ones from like LA colors and LA girl and it's nothing wrong with those because those work wonders for eyebrows and uh, concealer uh, to clean up your eyebrows and stuff but as far as trying to cover up spots I don't think they do a very good job so um, I think I might see about that Nikita Dragon one on how her orange works like I need more of a peachy than an orangey you know what I'm saying and I can't seem to find you know like a peachy one if anyone knows of like a good color correct that's not deep deep orange because I think that deep deep orange is what messes up a lot of my foundation um foundation looks that I be you know hoping to achieve but I don't get it's because I think because you know a lot of my foundations are orange based like got like undertones of orange and you know I use that because like again like again my skin I want to even it out and try to hide as much as I can as far as these molds but you know it is what it is so yeah but anyway so yeah I took the cake bakery and then I just I want to let that sit just for a few just a few just to look kind of let it dry you know soak up a little bit just soak up a little bit soak it up <sighs> again you know it's early I'm trying to get my stuff done that's all um yeah so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take the juno micro sponge right here and just blend this out see how that gave me a little more coverage just what i was looking for um, and still feel light the foundation still feels light it didn't disrupt the foundation at all still feel light and airy but this is the first time I'm using this micro sponge on doing it this way I usually use my actual beauty blender the, the actual beauty blender but I just washed that and I didn't want to dirty it up again so I went in with this that's what I normally use so this isn't blending out as good as I want it to. So, I may have to get my beauty, but I'm not going to because I just washed it. Washed all my beauty blenders and I'm not going to. That's why I decided to open up my real technique one so I didn't have to wash those. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this and since it's a little bigger, maybe it'll give me a better blend. And yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. The Juno sponge is just wasn't working today. I usually only use the Juno sponge, the micro Juno sponge under my eyes anyway, so. Oh yeah, that's a much better blend. Much better. Alright, I'm liking that. I am liking that. Oh, yeah, that covered up a whole bunch more. So, yes, people. I like that. I like it. Oh, 
Okay. All right, guys, this is the finished look. And yeah, I just added some blue eyeshadow um, under the lash line and completed the look and there you go um you know the foundation is definitely a yay you guys i really really like it um you know i can't say how it's going to wear because unfortunately um i'm not going to be able to do a wear test for you guys even though it is early in the morning now it is 10 a.m um and you know as i said on another video i'm having a big barbecue with a whole bunch of people and a lot of activities going on for the kids and all of that but um yeah we are i mean yeah so i'm doing this barbecue and unfortunately but probably by the time it's over i am not going to be thinking about turning the camera on because there's going to be alcohol and a lot of good times so um yeah i probably will not be thinking about <laughs> turning the camera on to let you guys know how this lasted throughout the day but um i will do it in another video um and let you all know you know i'll wear it again um obviously because I, I bought it and it's like 30 something so um i'm going to go ahead and you know wear it in another video and then at that time i'll be able to tell you how it wears and everything but um as far as first impressions go i really like the way that it blended i really like the way that it's been lasting so far and um yeah everything just looks good and my face is a little wet looking it's a little dewy because i use my favorite spray right here um you know this this is like a hit and miss for me this l'oreal um dew mist because sometimes it looks like it gives me a dewy list and a new a dewiness on my face and then sometimes it doesn't i mean i don't know it's just maybe i guess it just depends on the foundation i don't know because today it is uh definitely giving off a dewy look you know what i'm saying but when i wear the born this way to face it doesn't do that so I don't know you guys but anyway yeah so um yeah so I'll do a wear test in another video and um so for sake of this video and me doing the first and first impression Friday with the foundation um I'm definitely going to give the foundation a yay and um the real technique sponge I will say a yay also because that was the first time I used that so I can give that a yay and um that was all that i used that was first impression was um basically just the foundation today and um yeah so um, thank you so much everybody for subscribing um i am really 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 appreciative of everyone that subscribes even though um you know i have a lot of subscribers but you know you know a lot of them watch maybe one video ever and haven't watched again i mean which is cool with me because i have the subscribers but still you know you want people to watch too but you know as long as i got my loyal subscribers even if it's only three or four of you even though you know i know it's more than that but i'm just saying even if it was just three or four just loyal i mean that's all that would matter to me as long as you know i know that there's people out there that enjoy watching me genuinely genuinely watch me and and enjoy the content that i'm putting out that's fine with me um you know subscribing and watching one video ever it, it is what it is i mean because i can't lie and say that i haven't did that you know when people ask me i watch one and maybe haven't watched again i mean i guess it happens so you know it is what it is but again i'm so thankful for all my loyals and even the ones that just watch for whatever i'm just happy that you know someone is watching and i really appreciate it and thank you all so much i really really appreciate each and every one of you and if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload like the video and comment thank you so much again i cannot say thank you enough so you may hear me say that a million times but it's the truth i can't say thank you enough all right you guys talk to you in the next video bye